What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Stay loaded trucking, and we are back and rolling. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. You see this new sweater? Woo. Company logo. It's a freaking mm. Thursday today, and uh, yeah, we're back and rolling. I know, I know, I know it was looking ugly out there. I thought I was gonna have to like quit. I thought I was gonna have to freaking go out of business, uh, go work for a company. I don't know. A lot of things were going yeah, through my head. When I found out that my insurance canceled me on the 1st of February, it was Mojave. They went out of business. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know why they went out of business. I guess they were giving out, they weren't making money because their rates were cheap or I don't know what it was exactly, but when I found that out, I was up in Washington. So I was talking to some uh, insurance brokers and talking to some insurances and man, it was looking ugly. They had quoted me for two of my trucks, $50,000. I don't know why I have a good clean. I have a good driving record. My brother did too. The only problem was that a lot of insurance companies didn't want to mess with me because my brother only has one year experience. But besides that, I don't know. And probably another reason is because my company's based out of California. So I know California insurances are like not wanting to get people or like the prices are just ridiculous. Cause even with my regular auto insurance, they ended up raising that up. Like I think sometime last year, just because I live in California or something like that. And I know like my buddy was telling me that State Farm they don't even insure houses anymore in California, which is like crazy. So I don't know, man, just a bunch of headaches. I was stressed out. So that was Friday when I found that out. Well, that was Thursday, actually. And then Friday, I had to drive home empty all the way from Washington because uh, I didn't have insurance. So parked the trucks over the weekend, Monday parked, Tuesday parked. Wednesday parked and then today's finally Thursday and we finally are back on road but Monday and Tuesday I kept looking kept calling all these people they're giving me a uh, horrible quote so uh, I was like I'm gonna keep looking keep looking and then a lot of you guys were helping me out too you guys were telling me your guys' insurance so I called a bunch of a bunch of your guys' people and uh yeah thank you guys for that it really did help out got some pretty good quotes to be honest but then at the end of the day i went with uh progressive insurance they quoted me at like 2800 29 around there but besides that man we're back and rolling and we're even in a better place just by a little bit i mean it's a thousand dollars cheaper than my last policy but i also have more so that makes sense so it's actually technically cheaper what i found now so which is really really good and progressive i heard they're pretty good so so yeah yesterday was wednesday and i got everything went through like around 1 p.m noonish so then i went to the yard and i was like if i could find a load i'll go back to work today but by the time i got to the yard put my stuff in there it was like 1 32 p.m and uh all the loads were pretty much gone some loads kept popping up but they just kept people kept beating me to them so i wasn't able to go to work yesterday so today, Thursday, we found a load picking up in Redding, California, and we're going to be heading to Rialto down south. So Southern California. So that's what we're at right now. But I also got some sweaters made over the weekend and they finally finished them up yesterday. A little bit dirty. So it's just my company logo. And then uh, we got this back here. The name of my company. So pretty simple pretty cool i guess i was gonna put let me see if i can get this chair to go up or yeah i'll move this i was gonna get stay loaded right there like hashtag stay loaded like the name of my channel but then i kind of thought uh i mean I'm, I'm not gonna sell them but i don't want like the stay loaded brand because there's a stay loaded brand out there like clothing so I don't want them to think like, oh, like I'm trying to copy them or anything. I mean, technically the name is kind of similar. Stay Loaded Trucking. And I think they're just Stay Loaded. So that's why I don't think I can ever sell merch on here. So I would have to think of something else like another name. But 
yeah, just got my company logo and then the name on the back. Pretty, pretty cool. I've always wanted to do this, so I finally got it out the way and did it. And I pretty much just made enough for me and my family, so. Yeah, but everybody always asks me what this logo is. They think it's the devil. That's what my mom says. She's like, oh, tienes el diablo. And I'm like, no, it's it's just a goat because uh, I'm a Capricorn. I don't really believe in this stuff, but I'm a Capricorn. And the symbol or sign for a Capricorn is a goat. So just made a goat, put a little red eye in it. It kind of almost looks like the Hellcat and the Demon logos for Dodge. So I kind of like it. Pretty cool. But besides that, if you're trying to become an owner operator or you are one and looking for insurance, don't just go with the first quote that they give you. Keep looking, search, call around, and uh, yeah, don't go with the first one. Because, man, I, I saved myself like $20,000 plus just by calling and calling and other pe people helping me out but yeah man thank you to all the people that were helping me out giving me suggestions and all that shout out diego and uh yeah shout out the people that commented and uh help me out man really 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 appreciate it but this week i mean i just started today's thursday so i just started the week but just from what i see rates kind of went down a little bit Last week and two weeks ago, they were actually pretty good, like pretty decent, like pretty good. They're paying about $3 a mile. But this week, I don't know. I don't know if it's because I'm starting late or I don't know, but they're not paying good. So I have this one booked already. I already have one pre-booked from Southern California. So it is what it is. At least diesel's not too expensive, though. So that's a good part. That's like only one of the good parts. It's not too expensive. Or maybe it doesn't seem too expensive because it's always been so high. So I don't know. All right. Just got done unloading us. Or loading us. Ugh. Solar panel. That sucks. Hey, is it soft right there on that part? No, huh? <laughs> Boat lay. Let me see that big burrito of yours. Whoa, I'm actually talking about your real burrito. Come on, stop. Chill, bro. Uh, so glad I'm not fired. Oh uh, yeah, my brother's not fired. We found insurance, so I didn't have to let him go. How do you feel? I feel great, lucky. Here at Tejon Ranch. About to go get a truck wash right now and eat. To our delivery we're gonna chill here for a couple hours and then our appointments in the morning it's 
Friday morning we're here at the delivery while well, we were here last night but now we're actually inside so about to be checked in with security guard we're good now we have to go inside this door and check in all right we're all checked in door 17 so I'm about to go check in right now all right so they took about 30 minutes to unload us here in rio alto and i'm pretty sure i ran that freaking wheel chalk over i took this one out but i didn't know that that side was on so gonna check my tires yeah trailer's kind of dirty but we got our straps in there so that's good so we're gonna close our doors watching uh see you guys on the next video